years old, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, grown man business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. So let's get right into it. And Whoopi Goldberg, you are the topic of discussion. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg, you're the topic of discussion. So let's dig into this. Now, recently, just recently, Whoopi Goldberg was suspended from The View for two weeks for her remarks about the Holocaust, right? She made some very honest remarks regarding the Holocaust. And she said, you know, the Holocaust was, had nothing to do with race. It was all about man showing evil towards another man. You understand what I'm saying? But it had nothing to do with race. And I mean, it caused the uproar. Literally, it caused the uproar to the point where Whoopi Goldberg was Nick Cannon off of the view for two weeks. You understand what I'm saying? They wanted to sit her down, let her cool off, make her rehash what she said so she could come up with an apology. Because you know the higher ups and the elites, they do not play that. They do not play when you talk about the sewage people. You understand what I'm saying? Now, again, she said that it had nothing to do with race, the Holocaust, and everything to do with evil. She also said that, you know, these are one group of white men killing off another group of white men. And I mean, people are enraged. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it gets deep, man. And it gets wicked because, you know, them people own all of the TV stations, man. Those people own the majority of all the music record labels. You understand what I'm saying? Those people are at the top of the industry when it comes to Hollywood and when it comes to music. So when I'm talking about the higher ups and the elites, a lot of the time I'm talking about those people. You understand you cannot talk ill, speak ill of those people. And it's a reason for that. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple different angles, multiple multiple different angles and that segues way me into my first angle what she said about race what she said about race was absolutely right she didn't like whoopi goldberg is not a dummy she been in this industry for a long time she been rubbing shoulders with them people those people for a long time now what made her come out her mouth and speak truth on live television and risk her occupation, risk her checks, I, I don't know. But I got to salute her for doing it. Just like I saluted Nick Cannon for speaking truth. You understand? Now, like I said, she said that it had nothing to do with race. And it didn't have anything to do with race. You don't understand? Uh, the Nazis were killing off a people that were from the same race as them, but different religions as them do you understand what i'm saying um being jewish is not a race it is a religious belief you want do you understand so you you know you can't be born that way you can't be born jewish you can be born black you can't be born caucasian etc you understand what I'm saying? But you can't be born Jewish. You have to be taught Judaism. You understand what I'm saying? And again, that's where the, 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 the you know, the battle and the war of the minds come in when, it, when, when you're playing on that level. And that's where grown man business TV come in, man, because we're going to give it to you raw. You understand? So again, like I said, you can be born black, melanated. You can be born Caucasian. Or Neanderthal, but you can't be born Jewish. You have to be taught Judaism, and then you you learn it, and then you you practice and you praise it. You understand? So again, what she said was not wrong. You have to dig in, and you have to do your research. This was one, you know, one section of Caucasian white men killing off another section of white men they were all white <laughs> you know what i'm saying it is it's done now i'm not downplaying what happened 
to those people. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, when you're when you're doing when you're murdering women, children, elderly people, men for no reason but that they're not practicing the same religion as you, um, you know, then it's something wrong with that. And that is a problem. You understand? And if you ask me, they've been compensated uh, a lot. They have a lot of benefit packages and a lot of incentives that come with the fact that their people were done that way, that their people were killed off. Now, this is a whole, it could be a whole nother video, but black people, our race, melanated people have yet to be confiscated. confiscated. You understand? We have yet to have anything given back to us for the killing of our people on this land. You understand? But again, that's a whole nother video. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV, man. Multiple different angles. We coming from multiple, multiple different angles, man. And, you know, like I said, she said that it had nothing to do with race. And it didn't have anything to do with race. You got to understand. And she also said that, you know, it was other reasons why they were, the Nazis were attacking the Jewish religion so much. It's a reason why they were attacking the Jewish religion so much. Now, I'm not going to break it all down to you right here, but I'm just going to give you a taste. Um, you know, and I don't have, I don't condone anything that Hitler did. You understand what I'm saying? Because again, has nothing to do with our people. You understand? So I don't condone anything he did, but I will say some of his quotes were real quotes. And what he, what, what, one of the things that he started to find out about uh, the, the Jewish people is that it was a lot of homosexuality involved in their culture, <clears throat> in their religion. You know, uh, he was running across men of, of, you know, having sexual relations with other men, women having sexual relations with other women. He was running across a lot of child uh, uh, molestation. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of men with children type of action. And he said that this is going to spread like wildfire if we don't exterminate this. If we don't get rid of this, these actions, it's going to take over and collapse a nation. He said that. You understand now, if you look into the Hollywood scene, if you look into the music scene, if you look into the everyday TV, when it comes to commercials and, and anything, you know, the alphabet gang is involved now in everything. How is that a coincidence? Because he said out his own mouth, these people engage in that type of stuff and we don't condone it. Now, do he, should he have killed everybody? You know, I, I don't have any, I don't, I don't condone any of that. You understand? Um, but that was his way, the only way I guess he could think to 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 eradicate those actions. All right. So again, I didn't do it, I wasn't there. I'm just giving you the knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? He also said that, you know, the the people in the Western Hemisphere, which America, he said this a long time ago. He said the people in America will burn in due time. And his associate asked him, why? Why is that? And he said, because they have stolen God's precious jewels. They have stolen God's precious jewels and stolen them. Now, who was God's precious jewels that he was referring to? The black man in America. That's what he was talking about. That's who he was speaking of when he said they have stolen God's precious jewels. So, hey, he didn't see any. He, he called us God's precious jewels. He but he saw them as something that he felt needed to be erased. Do you understand? And again, you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV, man. We coming from multiple different angles. We coming from multiple multiple different angles and one thing i've learned growing up in america is that they will demonize 
whoever they want to erase from history, they will demonize them. They never give the full story and they always take from the book and then feed you whatever chapters that they want you to learn from. And that goes for everything, especially something like the Bible, something so sacred. They can take 30 something odd chapters out of it to manipulate it, to benefit them. You understand now, you know, one thing I'm learning with just age and wisdom is that the deeper you dig into the history of America, the deeper you dig into the history of Caucasian culture, it gets wicked, man. It gets deep. It's deeper than rap. So, uh, you know, when you look at how everything has been manipulated, how almost everything we have learned, you have to like reverse it, right? Who's to say that Hitler situation was not manipulated, which it was. Was he a mass murderer? Yes. Is there any justification for that? No. But what was his real intentions? Why did that happen? You understand? And when you do your research and you dig deep, you start to understand something, something's not adding up. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Uh, something's not adding up. So again, I just want to say salute. Salute the Whoopi Goldberg. Because again, you know what I'm saying? One thing for one thing for sure, two things for certain. Whoopi been in this game for a long time. Whoopi Goldberg has been in this industry for a long time. She knows exactly what to say and exactly what not to say, which is the reason she landed the position on The View in the first place. They know that she is a puppet, that there is a Geppetto hanging that check and pulling them strings. She's not going to go far left. She's not going to go far right. She's going to stay right in the pocket and be that black puppet that we need her to be. And sometimes it's a glitch in the system. And when I watch that clip, I see a glitch in the system. So for whatever reason, she felt like dropping a little knowledge on y'all. For whatever reason, she felt like giving a little truth. I'm appreciative. Now, me, I'm just going to elaborate on it. I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of meat and potatoes to go with that with that cornbread that was laid out there. You know what I mean? Now, you take that food for thought and you get full. And then after that, you say, thank you, grown man business. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying now? Again, man, you already know how we do here at grown man business, man. Multiple different angles. We come from multiple different angles, man. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to ask yourself, what when she said... It had nothing to do with race. These are two white Caucasian groups. One is killing the other, which is wrong. You understand? Uh, but being Jewish is not is not a race. Jewish, that is not a race. That is a religion. So you don't have to learn how to be black. This is we I was we was born with this. This is not something you have to learn. This is not, not something that you can praise. You just carry it. Caucasian. This same thing goes for Caucasian, which the Jewish people are Caucasians. The Nazis were Caucasians, just separate groups of Caucasians. You have black people, African-Americans. Then you have Africans. Do you understand? Then you have Haitians. Do you understand? Now... Regardless of what you want to call it, we all black. Just different sections of black. And that, and that applies to Caucasians as well. It's not just white people. You have different sections of them. And sometimes they go to war. And that's what was happening with that, man. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Grown Man Business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. I suggest you tap into this grown man business. I suggest you tap into this grown man content at all times. You already know what it is. Straight off the brick into the bottles. Straight, raw, pure, uncut. Straight, raw, pure, uncut. Nothing stepped on. No extras. No preservatives. You feel what I'm saying? We not sugarcoating nothing. And we ain't dressing nothing up. We giving it to you straight, raw. And yes, man. Uh, salute to Whoopi Goldberg. You feel what I'm saying? She dropped some truth off. 
And like she said, it had nothing to do with race. It was more evil amongst a group of men. It was evil amongst the Caucasians. You understand it? I don't condone anything he, he did, but he did have some, some, some things that he said that make sense. You understand? So, look, man, and, and look, before I go, you know, I'm trying to make sure my eyes is open. It's a lot of y'all want to be able to look into my eyes, man, but, you know, it'd be, it be late night sometimes when I be dropping this knowledge. Don't worry if my eyes are open. <laughs> Don't worry if you can see see my eyes, man. Don't gaze into my eyes, man. Listen to the message. Take this food for thought and get full. I'm going to give you a plate full. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Grown Man Business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. Gang.